We're going to kick it off. So ladies and gentlemen, keep that love going. You guys are a great audience. I know it's my job to say that, but, uh, but uh, you are. So that's, uh, that's great. And uh, so, are you ready? Are you, are you ready? Are you, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Elena Smith! Hello, Sean. Um, Brian Cowan walks into a bar and he says, uh, Can I go whiskey, please? The barman says, Pours a tiny, insy, teeny, weeny, teeny little drop into the bottom of the glass. And he hands it to Cowan. He looks at him and says, What is that? And he said, That's what we call an austerity measure. <laughs> um, so, guys, Christmas next week. Everybody organised, prepared? No. Nope. Yeah, no. Nope. Nope. I am. I'm an organised person. I can't leave anything to chance. Everything has to be done in advance, so there's nothing left to chance. So, with that uh, in mind, I have been in training for Christmas since Halloween. <laughs> I've all my presents wrapped and tucked under the tree, and I have been boozing and stuff in my face constantly <laughs> since the start of November. <laughs> in fact, I've already put on 70% of my Christmas weight gain target. <laughs> <laughs> that's organised, huh? <laughs> if I keep up to the strict regime that I've already uh, taken on, I should be the size of Santa by New Year's. And of course then, my New Year's resolution will be to lose weight, and get slim and trim and be looking absolutely fabulous just in time for chocolate egg season. <laughs> now, everybody's saying that we should be green, we should be, you know, kinder to the environment and, you know, reduce our, our dependence on fossil fuels and I personally am really trying to reduce my dependence on fossil fuels. When we were kids, if you were bold, you were told, Santa's watching you and if you keep up that behaviour, all he's going to bring you is a sack of coal for Christmas. <laughs> That's not a threat that we can issue anymore. <laughs> we need renewable resources. You know, we have to keep our fossil fuels. So I have been telling my children, you do that one more fucking one more time. <laughs> Santa's watching. I tell you, Santa's watching. If you do that one more time, all you're going to get from Santa this year is a big sack of wind. <laughs> now, the other thing that people are talking about at the moment is that we should be making presents for one another. You know, make it lovely, you know, it's really nice. And it also, you know, we're in a recession, we're going to save a few bob. So, I've learned how to knit. And uh, I went out, he's in the room now, so given the surprise away a bit early. Uh, I went out and I bought a big ball of mohair wool and I've knit my husband a hat and scarf set. It's, you know, I'm actually very, very proud of myself. The only problem is that he can't wear natural fibres <laughs> because they cause him to itch like crazy and they drive him mad. And so I made him a couple of pairs of socks as well. <laughs> and three pairs of white <laughs> And I was like, you know what you're laughing at? He irritates the shit out of me too. And I can't exactly exchange him for something I find a little more comfortable against my skin. <laughs> But speaking of exchanging things, my boss has exchanged every single gift I have ever bought the bitch. I don't even know why I bother with it. Anyway, I was making stuff. So I made a mango chutney by myself in the kitchen. Fantastic. And then I put it in a little sterilised jar. There must be a sterilised jar with a little gingham lid. A little pretty little label. And it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And be honest, it's really, really gorgeous. Uh, the only problem there is that, uh, as far as I know, she's allergic to mango. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, if she were to taste it, which of course she shouldn't, if she were to taste it, her, her, her face might blow up for you here. <laughs> she could break out in a hideous rash or she might even go into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> 
really. I'm sure she won't. <laughs> That's the thought that counts. <laughs> Yvonne, I'm very, very nice, and I just want to leave you with one idea just before I go. If somebody else bought you the ticket for tonight's gig, if you didn't put your hand in your own pocket, does that mean that you're having a laugh at their expense? <laughs>